women only obsess over men that they go weak for emotionally. It will come out as controlling, manipulating, and maybe toxic. You shouldn't ask yourself why. Ask yourself who. We all know that there is enough security. Women are successful. They have all the money. The law is always on the women. They have everything that they think it's what they need. If she wants sex, she can sleep with any man that she wants. Men can get sex from women who are willing to give them sex. And we all have to accept that first. Now, women think that they don't need men in their life. So you have to justify that. She needs me more than I need her by controlling her emotions. Then she cannot live without you. There will be fear of losing you. Other women are potentially into you the next day, tomorrow, or the next week. You can be taken by another lady. This gives her the trigger that hypergamy is fully satisfied and she needs you more than you need her. This also saves you from the act that the tests won't be that hard and withholding sex from you won't be that deep. Women will always withhold sex from men. A strategy to get your emotions involved. Let her realize that I am in control of your emotions. You either work hard for this relationship, pursue me, or you will lose me. And when I often tell men you're supposed to be the leader, I mean you must be able to lead a woman's emotions and they are not supposed to lead your emotions. If they can tip you emotionally, then they are leading you. Women know that the more attractive I am, the more beautiful I am, the more power I have over men. She will walk over you. She will never respect you. She knows she is shallow, but she will have to use her beauty to get what she wants from a man. And the men are powerless. Show that her beauty doesn't move you off center. Her beauty has no power over you. It's not something that you value. Then that allows you to be labeled as the unique man. The man who has the charisma, the man who moves me, he is the guy. He's so different. He moves the mountains. If you put yourself in a cage of your beauty is so powerful over me, she will go, I'm not attracted to him. He ain't the guy. I don't need him. I will get rid of him. But if you can control her emotions by showing her that that ain't the value that I am looking in a woman. She will realize that you are the prize. She needs you and her beauty won't convince you to stay. And that is what will make a woman obsess over a man. Treat her like your sister. Treat her like your brother. Don't queen her. Once you get her attached to you emotionally, you have to pull back and use your masculine energy. She can't gauge you. She can't understand you. Do you know that women crave over chaos? You have to create chaos for her by showing her that you value your work and you won't be able to always reply to her calls or to her texts unless it's important. Am I not that important to him? Am I the only lady that he can't reply to? And that is what she needs for her to take that relationship seriously. The chaos, time is limited. I have a lot to do in my life. And because of your beauty, you think you are the goddess. And whenever you call, I have to run. That ain't me. I am not like every other man. When she can't know where you stand, you can be committed only if she follows your rules. When she knows that you don't worship her beauty, you are the right guy for her. She is investing so much in you and that is what she needs. But when she tries to make you get attached emotionally, you have to pull back. Follow the biblical hierarchy. A beautiful lady will walk up in a club knowing that she can't pay for her drinks because every other single man in that club will want to talk to her, to mingle with her, will want to take her home, and he will be more happier, willing to pay for her drink. Just wait and see. They are weak. I can use them. He will pay for my this and that. I can get free passes through men. When you are the guy who is pedestaling the lady, and that is her power, you are done. If I am that important to him, then I need to date up. 
she's losing interest she doesn't love you you ain't the guy you ain't the man you disgust her you are the guy who washes her you are a pedestaling her women only like you if you don't really like them and you can survive without them so the man who is not into her the man who is not after her he is emotionally stable and he is the right guy for me that is why it's so easier for a woman to obsess over a toxic man to be emotionally invested she will always chase him pursue him because the toxic men have already mastered the art of being in control of a woman's emotions when you pick her because she's beautiful you come to a conclusion that she is the lady instead of getting to know her she will know that this man hasn't dated me enough he doesn't even know me he doesn't know my qualities but he already wants a serious relationship she knows that you need enough time for her to prove herself to you so when you come to a conclusion and pick her immediately she knows you are picking her because of her beauty and you are the weak man who is not emotionally stable and her beauty makes you weak it's to her own way of understanding this you are the very low value man that she has ever met in her life you can't control that i didn't come up with this you ask yourself that women are so much complicated and you can't understand them at least i'm here to allow you learn and use some of this information as leverage in your dating life you can date 2000 women but if you don't know how to deal with women women will deal with you the one plus one is two two plus two is four no it's not that simple to them i'm not saying that you have to use this information to manipulate people and use it for evil women are always ahead of you men and you have to accept that you can be the best millionaire the best billionaire the best doctor you are not immune to this you are getting the same whoops the same scenarios the same characters the same behaviors as long as she identifies that you worship her beauty even when you earn a billion dollar per month hypergamy is less satisfied she's willing to dump you to date a man who doesn't pedestalize her who doesn't worship her who doesn't goddess her who doesn't put her first you have to be a lady who has more value than your attractiveness you are the valuable asset that she has been looking for in her entire life but if you don't use this information as leverage in your relationship you will still come back here complaining wanting to know how women operate it doesn't matter how beautiful she is she has the same behavior the same character she will use the same whoops are you still bitter with me for speaking the facts i don't think so have you really watched up to this point why can't you subscribe okay comment down below by saying i am with you and until next time be safe take care and let's have peace